Hello and welcome back to Crazy Dove Studio. In today's video, we will look at how to integrate the Cloud Boost that we had deployed in the previous video with Networker. Before we can create a Cloud Boost uh, instance on Networker, first we have to set up the uh, the remote. So before we can go ahead and create a Cloud Boost device on Networker, we need to enable the remote backup user that will be used to integrate Networker with the Cloud, cloud Boost device. For this, let's first go ahead and connect to a Cloud Boost device. Let's give it a password. And this is a Cloud Boost device. So once we have the prompt, put in the command remote mount password enable and provided a password so i'm going to provide a generic password in our case click enter and you will see that this particular password is now applied so now your cloud boost device is set to be integrated with the networker server so let's go ahead on the networker server and configure the second cloud boost device so you as you can see i already have one cloud boost uh, device configured here and this is a more recent Cloud Boost uh, version, which is 19.5, and the one which we have deployed is 19.2. So let's go ahead and configure that. So for this, you can directly go on your device tab, click on new device wizard, and in the wizard, you have to select the option for Cloud Boost, then click on next. So this is just going to provide you that uh, all the you know, prerequisites that you need to configure before uh, creating the device. So we have done all this in the previous section. Now let's go ahead and click on next. And here you, if you see, it is very similar to how the configuration of a DD Boost device uh, looks, but uh, the only difference being the, uh, the username and credentials so that you have to use. So there are two options here again. You can use an external storage node, which I'm not going to do. So we are going to use the embedded storage node on the Cloud Boost device itself uh, to create the device uh, here. So basically, I'm going to put in the name of our Cloud Boost appliance. So the same thing can be provided here as well. So the username is going to be remote backup. So this is by default the same username that you have to use. Uh, and then put in the password. Then select the option for browse and select because uh, by doing this you will be able to go and check what is existing and create something uh, relevant, right? Then click on next. It is going to connect to the Cloud Boost device. And now if you can see there are no folders created at all because this is the first device that we are creating for this particular cloud boost device so let's call it device one and select this so this is the remote uh, this is the storage path this is going to be the network device name click on next uh, here you will be able to create a new pool or use an existing pool so what i'm going to do for this case is I'm going to select a new or create a new pool called file system and this is going to be a backup pool or maybe it could be a clone pool it again depends on what are the use cases that you're using this for label and mount device after creation uh, is checked so that it is labeled and mounted so click on next and it will give you a summary of the configuration that you have Go ahead and click on configure. So let me pause the video here and come back to you once the configuration is completed. All right, so the configuration is completed. Uh, one thing you have to note with um, while configuring the Cloud Boost device is that this is going to take a very long time and you might be prompted in between that uh, if you want to wait or cancel it. So don't panic and cancel this. Um, keep on waiting for the entire process to complete. This is mainly because it has to interact with the 
the cloud storage which is out on the internet so once this configuration is completed you can go ahead and click on finish and you will see that this particular resource is created here all right now that the configuration is completed let's go ahead and try to uh, back this up so I have booted up one of the systems so let's go to Linux one and let's just change so if you actually look at the device itself you will know that this has a storage node associated with it so the storage node is CB2 so when you are configuring the backup make sure that you are updating the storage node as well so let's update the pool first and then update the destination storage node to CB2 all right that looks good let's go ahead and start the backup so this was the process or uh, procedure to configure the cloud boost or integrate your cloud boost with networker server and create a device out of it and then configure it for backups thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video i hope you found this useful if you have any questions or comments share it with our community in the comment section below or you can drop me a message at my twitter account i will see you on another video Goodbye.